Hello everyone. Uh, good evening from New York. Uh, I am hosting the 12 days of Christmas tonight. And if you have followed in the former years, I have been hosting 24 days of Christmas with Paul John Whiskey. Uh, this year, you know, it's been a little bit different. We have been um, hosting 12 days of Christmas, but it's going to be a little bit different because we are actually doing uh, this worldwide, not just the US right now. So we are doing this event in Australia, we are doing it in uh, Europe, we are doing it in the US. So it's going to be a little bit different right now. So I am waiting for my guest tonight. The worst case, I will just look her to join us because we are having the wonderful Amanda Young tonight. Uh, ambassador for Paul John Whiskey. I've been doing this job for the last four years. Oh, yes. Amanda is here. Hey, a little nervous. But hey, nice. hey, hey. How are you doing, Amanda? Very first time going live. Oh, well, why? Why is that? So, <laughs> <this> is... <laughs> I, can, I, I cannot believe that. I cannot actually believe that. Perfect. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to host you on your first live. Uh, no sorry about my problem. background. I'm actually on a work travel in New York right now. So uh, I, I don't have my bottles, but I would love to have them. Unfortunately, I don't All have right. them with me. But welcome to 12 I Days know. of Christmas. So you don't know what's happening. Uh, this, all, this all started two years ago when I first decided on, okay, we have a Christmas edition whiskey. Why don't we do it 24 days of Christmas? So I hosted a lot. <laughs> one person every night from December 1st to December 24th. That, that, that's a lot. And I did that for two years. And this year we, de we decided to do that internationally. So other than US, let's do uh, Australia, let's do Europe and let's do US. And let's do it <coughs> 12 days to make it easier. Oh, I, I think you. that works. <laughs> so you're you're my first guest for the rally. So I I, I have four guests and you're my first. And nice to see you. Uh, May. I think we yep. last met Let's in February in no May in Chicago, right? Yeah. Busy. In Chicago. Busy. Yeah, but um, how you been? Yeah, I've had a lot of going for you. Then, so. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm Lovely. excited. To tell do, me, tell me uh, more. <laughs> so, I mean, I did already like pre-open it so that I didn't fumble on the live. But um, yeah, I'm I'm ready to drink. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Let, let, let's do that then. Let's crack that open. I, I, say, I already cracked that in the morning. The most festive glasses. Uh, packaging um, I've ever seen on any whiskey bottle for Christmas before. <laughs> this is number five. Like we had a lot of different packages actually. So Christmas editions uh, started in 2018. Going back in the uh, history, Paul John, the name comes from the owner, Mr. Paul John, Mr. Paul P. John, who is a wonderful person behind the whiskey business. All he wants is just making a good dram of whiskey. And what they also wanted is to make Christmas whiskey because in Goa, uh, around 20% of the population is still Catholic and they celebrate Christmas. So they wanted to celebrate Christmas with a Christmas edition. And we started doing that in 2018. So the basic thing is okay. catching the Christmas flavors with different finishings or blending. Mm -hmm. And in 2018, we, we started with an Oloroso finish. 2019 was a PX finish. 2020 was a blend of uh, ex bourbon, virgin oak, and Oloroso. 2021 was a Portuguese wine finish. <laughs> and this year is totally crazy, which I'll be speaking with you, hopefully. <laughs> so we have the Christmas edition 2022. Mm. Well, it smells like. I'm just going to ask you directly like what do you think? Cookies. Mm, it smells like Christmas. Honestly, 
when I was growing up, oh, Christmas was always a great time. My mom was always in a really good mood making Christmas cookies, and she's a baker, loves to bake. I can't bake at all. I wish I could, but mm, so this kind of reminds me of home and, wow, <laughs> and chocolate and all the <laughs> all the good things that Christmas can bring. <laughs> I just wanted to give you guys mm. a sign of Empire yeah. State Building behind me. So, <laughs> so uh, what you're having is the Christmas 2022. Okay. This time, we actually blended three different whiskeys. So the first one, this is really exciting. I love to tell this. The first one is the ex bourbon barrel whiskey. It's simply Paul John. Six years in ex bourbon barrels. First with ex bourbon barrels. The second one is aged for four years in ex bourbon barrels. Oh, wow. And two more years in Paul John Exo brandy casks, which is the French limousine oak. So it will get a lot of sweet notes and vanilla sweet vanilla from that. So the third cask is that, <laughs> that this is the hardest part. Like you, you need a math teacher for that. F five years in ex bourbon barrels, which used to have. Peter Paul John. So it's the second fifth barrel, which used to have Peter okay. Paul John whiskey. So the peat only comes from the barrel itself, which is finished wow. in uh, Oloroso casks for 18 months. So three different whiskeys blended together mm. and mm. Cr created the Paul John Christmas edition 2022. Mm. Yes. You tasted Paul John yes. before uh, with me in uh, Chicago and before that. What do you think? Like, um, what what I what captures really, you with Paul? I actually like the spice in it. I feel like it's a lot different than Scotch whiskey, which I mean, there are a plethora of Scotch whiskeys, of course, but um, there is something about the spice in a Paul John whiskey that just gives it that different, I, I don't know what <laughs> it is about it that is different. Maybe it's the cast that they use or whatever it is, but it's, it's got that very distinct flavor compared to, you know, like if you have a lineup of whiskeys, Scotch whiskey or even a Welsh whiskey or, or any of that, you're going to be able to pick out a John Paul just based on that spice, that heck. Something about it, that spice <laughs> would be a Paul John. <laughs> all right. Sorry. So let, let's go there. First of all, not John Paul, Paul John. Forget. Everybody does that. Everybody does that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Second of all, uh, Paul John's hashtag is the great in, in the great Indian Sigamalt, and we. We love to be the Indian. We love to be the great Indian, and we emphasize all the Indian. And the reason for okay. that is we source our barley from India. Northern India, mainly Rajasthan, we have four different regions that uh, we get our barley from, and uh, that's six-row barley instead of two-row barley, which is traditional in Europe. So we, we only have six-row barley, which gives us more proteins, so viscosity is higher. You will have creamy mouthfeel with tropical fruits. And then we oh. also have our copper right. pot sauce wow. made in India with Indian copper. So, so literally we designed everything with our needs, in our needs, and everything was made in India. And funny story is uh, our copper pot are made in India in a state really? that alcohol okay. is not wow. allowed to be made. So it's a dry state. Yeah. It's Freaking fantastic. I love that. <laughs> also, uh, being Indian doesn't also doesn't just mean that you get everything from India. It also means that you make everything in India. So from meshing okay. to bottling, everything happens in India, including the aging. That's a little bit tricky because uh, Goa, where we make our whiskey on the southwest coast of India, Oh. Uh, is exposed to 1995 degrees in temperature throughout the year and 70 75% of humidity. 
So when you combine those together, yeah. the evaporation from the cask, which is known okay. as angel's wow. hair, yeah. is eight to ten, eight to ten percent. So that's a high percentage because in in Scotland it's one to three, in Kentucky it's like three to nine. So eight to ten percent is quite high. In Taiwan it's uh, twelve to fourteen. So the more it is, the faster you you will have a drinkable whiskey. So we are talking about a six year old whiskey right now. And when you compare wow. that to Scottish whiskey, it's actually 15 to 20 year old case. So you can actually drink it six year old with a high complexity. So based on, you said there were four different regions for the barley? Yeah, in, in the northern part, in have you uh, noticed northern India, difference? there are like four different like between, regions. That we depending have on what barley that they use? I'm not going to lie. No, no, <laughs> no I didn't okay. get that much into it. But the main region we got our barley is from Rajasthan. And there's a reason okay. for the north because the southern part is more humid. And the humidity right. doesn't work very well on the sugar level of uh, barley. So it doesn't give you the best uh, performance. So because so the part the is humidity, a little drier, is that so it gives why you the, best the angel share, or is that why uh, there's more of the angel share? When okay. you come to angel share, it's a little bit different process. So it's humidity plus temperature. So yes. you have to combine that together. <laughs> if you want, I will send you a really nice nerdy uh, graph that will explain the aging process. Um, but at certain okay. temperature and at certain humidity, the aging process gets really high. Uh, Goa is one of the highest spots. And okay. <clears throat> if you know Kavalan uh, oh. uh, in Taiwan, right. they have the highest spot, like 12 to 14 percent in a year. Yeah. Well, you that, know. That, 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 that's pretty interesting. But yeah, we're talking I, I about like Christmas. Come on, let's talk about snow, so. snow and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, like we, we were just talking about you, like uh, I, I was like, I'm in New York, but I have to do an Instagram live tonight and tomorrow. And tonight I, I, I will do that with Amanda and tomorrow <laughs> I'm doing that with Tracy and they're both nerds. I love that. <laughs> so thank you for putting all the efforts to the industry. Aside from Paul John, I'm talking that as a personal level. Thank you for putting all the n nerdy in the, oh, uh, industry you information so I, in your profile. I mean, it's my pleasure. You have been doing a thank great you guys job. for making wiki. Yeah. <laughs> I just like to share what I learned. So. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. That's and so many days. <laughs> 12 days of Christmas, which used to be 24 days of Christmas, is all about yeah, putting love into the industry because we love to learn about how we experience your uh, here, uh, which is year? the next question I'm going to um, ask to you. Was How was great. I, I, I mean, I really, I can't complain. Yes. I, I really can't. We have a new puppy and she's a huge pain, but she's adorable. <laughs> uh, I I don't know. It's, just, it's been a good year. I There's so many people out there that, you know, struggled this year. So I, I can't. I can't say a bad word about my year. It's been it's been great. I've been enjoying our new whiskey room that we That's built, awesome. you know, last year. So it's it's just been a really. Oh. Can yeah. can you give us can you give us a <laughs> like view of that? Okay, so is it here is. Uh, We'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. We've got. The whiskey wall and uh, and all that. I love it. First live of the uh, whiskey room. That's kind of exciting. And then our vault is is over there with some unopened whiskey. Lots of unopened whiskey bottles. That's where we keep those. So. So. <laughs> Everyone who wants to know Amanda's address, I'm not going to give it to you. Uh, sorry, I, I was just shutting down my AC. <laughs> so, 
So I, I know her address, but I'm not going to give it to you guys. Oh, I'm sure people or will the, be knocking. Or the best of her wins, address. let's That's put it right. that way. Some of your uh, uh, Paul John whiskey. <laughs> it's Christmas. <laughs> oh, I would love that. Uh, speaking, speaking of experience, like I <laughs> built a little bit of that shells and it's too hard and that room looks fascinating. I love that. I love that. Yeah, it came together nicely. So uh, okay. let's talk about a little bit, Paul John, compared to Scotch. Um, what do you feel well, in that's this different between one, Scotch and Paul John? This is very, I mean, it has so many different notes to it. Nothing is hidden from anything else. Uh, sometimes, I mean, if you're a Scotch drinker, you know that sometimes peat can be overwhelming and people can't really pick up on the rest of the taste. Um, but I, I feel like for Paul John, there's like layers to the whiskey and you can distinctly like taste each one. So it's kind of like, I don't know, when people are, you know, singing a song or you're, you're listening to your favorite music or whatever and you hear the different chords and you can kind of pick everything out. Um, I don't know, like Paul John, uh, it doesn't get, it doesn't get lost with one particular tasting note. And I think that that's a lot different because a lot of the whiskeys, especially when we have people over for tastings and things like that, they can only find one thing about the whiskey. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's, oh, I, I taste, you know, the, like if it's the Oloroso sherry, like I taste the wine or I taste the, you know, raisins or something like that. And it just kind of, that's, and then you're like, okay, well, now what, how do you feel about it? And they're like, I mean, you know, that's it. <laughs> so I, I, feel, I definitely feel like this is uh, next, <laughs> like, the layers unfold nicely, like really nice. So, um, and the spice, like I mentioned before, you know, it's this different kind of spice. It's right. interesting. And uh, you just kind of want to sit and savor it and then, you know, keep pouring more into your glass. <laughs> So there's a comment from Safford. Uh, great content watching this and tasting an Octomore 10.4 virginal. <laughs> Keep rocking Paul John and Duchess. Love, love, love to see that. Uh, and Yashua Sani uh, say love from India. We send our love to India. Uh, I miss India so much. I've been there at the Paul John distillery, which is a fascinating <laughs> place. Roddell Whiskey, I love you lady. He, she, he says probably. Um, okay, cool. um, send, send us questions, guys, if you want to. So there, there's a question that a lot of people are curious. Like, they, they, they know what I'm um, doing right now. Oh, what do you do? Like, uh, my life how do you well? enjoy your life other than whiskey? Yeah. Well, I. Oh, what I do you do? Like, if, you, if you're doing anything else. I homeschool. And um, so <laughs> that takes up a lot of time. Before that, I was an accountant. And uh, I actually, uh, I was an accountant for years and then COVID hit and um, that was kind of it. I had to homeschool the kids uh, when that happened and then we started doing that and I tried to do both full-time job and homeschool the kids and that didn't work uh, at all. So, <laughs> so I, we decided um, they're uh, eight and 10 um, and they just didn't want it. They were like, okay, well, I'll just, I'll just, we'll just stay home with mom and just homeschool. So I said, okay, well, let's do it. And then uh, that's kind of, I feel like having my whiskey account is just a good outlet where I can kind of, you know, have, be an adult for a little bit and just have some adult time and, you know, drink some whiskey and do some research. And I like history and all that. Actually, with homeschooling the kids, I got really into history and, and then I'm telling them, oh, you guys in Scotland, so when the Vikings came and I'm just, and they just are just rolling their eyes, okay, mom, all right, pull it back. <laughs> we're, we're learning about something else right now. <laughs> so I, I don't know. That <laughs> pretty much keeps me very busy. <laughs> oh, I, that would oh, hopefully amazing. we'll get you to India <laughs> one day and you will enjoy that part of business because, yes. because I, I 
yeah, know that you're going, going to Scotland next year. August and so September. It's, it's so going to be, be fun. Touring around and hopefully hitting as many distilleries as possible. I mean, I know we can only fit in so much, and people are like, are you going to do anything besides drink? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I will do my, I will do my best well, to fit you at some place any, that I know. Or anything, Don't worry about that. Just trying to, you know, make a a good list <laughs> of of all the spots to hit. <laughs> well, all the Scotch please. brands who are listening <laughs> here, please come on, get in touch with Amanda. That's just a pilot. So uh, there, there's a mutual friend of ours saying that two of my favorite oh, people from the whiskey he's world, great. I Jack remember Ferris, we love him, mate. I right? miss you, mate. He's, uh, <laughs> fantastic. He's, he's, he's one of the best. So Caroling outside says that, looking forward to finding a bottle of Paul John. I love Amrit and Kavalan, so I'm sure Paul John will be right in line with my taste. I agree with that. Okay. Um, I, let I me know if you need to you. find a place. <laughs> I will help you with that. Say so less, yeah. yeah. And any other comments? Samik says maybe next time you can do a video about Paul John PX or Paul John Mituna. I would love to meet you both in India someday. Samik, let's get in contact. We'll do that for sure. Um, hello to Mexico. Sorry that you couldn't make better in World Cup. I was rooting for you guys. But yeah. <laughs> so, um, in this uh, series, I always do one thing, and, oh, okay, sorry, Spurthy Poncha, one of my favorite people in this universe, asks you, Amanda, is this your first Paul John? If not, where well, did you try a Paul John ask, expression for the first time? What did we have at the Whiskey Fest? Because I feel like I tried a lot of Paul John at that point, and up to that, I think I had only had like whatever the flagship was and it was in like a, a sample like an advent calendar or some sort of a sample at that point so yeah I, th I think until that point you tried the brilliance and classic and you came to the whiskey yeah. fest and I offered you Mituna PX and Olo yep. also <laughs> those, those were the first that you had with me and like this is this is this is a special thing. This is a little special thing. Just to repeat uh, to everyone for those who joined, this is the Christmas edition, 2022, which we just released into the market in the USA, <coughs> in other states too. Um, so this is a blend of three different whiskeys in ex bourbon barrels, Peter Doloroso, and ex brandy casks. If you can find us, we only brought like really uh, almost okay. maybe less than well, two thousand bottles to the U.S. Well, it's hot. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to multiply hmm. right now. Well, you know what? Two thousand one hundred um, bottles in I the U.S. I think yesterday where I did uh, Scotland's Island whiskey, and a lot of people were asking me about Aaron fourteen, which they don't make anymore, um, and. My specific tasting note for that was it's the whiskey, it tastes like the whiskey that you bring to Christmas where grandma gives you the side eye for bringing whiskey, but then she's in the kitchen, you know, nipping some from the bottle. And I and everybody's like, well, what would be comparable to that? And I feel like, <laughs> honestly, like this is the perfect, <laughs> the perfect Christmas whiskey <laughs> to bring to your family's party. So, when you said gra grandma <laughs> nipping that, I, I, I'm just thinking about grandma nipping the eggnog. And that, that's like yeah, fascinating so I, I scene would, for me. And I, mean, I, I could actually feel it here. For the holiday season, what bottle I would recommend, I would most definitely recommend the John Paul Christmas edition this year. Um, hopefully, since there's only 2,000 bottles, they can find it. Like, where... You know, I I don't know where to tell people ever to, to find the wiki. That's one of my shortcomings in, in, <laughs> that I'm not sure. So one of the things is Illinois is freaking <laughs> lucky about it because Chicago market is one of our best markets. So 
uh, our person, Whitney and Nina, they're taking care of the things over there. And hopefully you will find these at probably Beanie's Warehouse Stickers. Uh, at least <coughs> there are some, sp uh, <coughs> sorry about that, spots that you can find it. Oh. Also, there are some comments coming on your way. Uh, one, one of the guys asked you if you speak Portuguese, but I'm not going to ask you that. So, Chef Joe 2901 said that I did smell the cask of this while yeah. at Paul John <laughs> Distillery. <laughs> it smelled Christmassy. I, we, we totally agree with that. Yeah. And Tree Bear asked that, uh, said that I love the page, learning Thank so you. much about scotch and whiskey. That's apparently your page, Amanda. <laughs> Best of luck, best of luck with the homeschooling your kiddos and will be of the better for your efforts. It's, well, homeschooling it's a lot. I think it's, is it's, freaking it's amazing. It's definitely oh. a lot. I, <laughs> I mean, have to say I that. ask the kids every year before the school year, you guys ready to go back? And they say no. And I'm like, ah, all right, <laughs> fine. <laughs> but. Perfect, perfect. So coming to the last part of our conversation, okay. just a simple question. I ask it to every guest of mine. Wow. What do uh, you wish for Christmas geez. and 2023? Geez. Well, I mean, I really hope that the, uh, the prices on the whiskey come down a bit. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to, that's what I'm going to wish for. for sure. <laughs> um, Lovely. Because, Oh, scotch, of course. Good. But I did hear that bourbon, Which one, bourbon or scotch? is outrageously priced. So I do, <laughs> um, I, I, I hear that all of it is. I mean, I don't outrageous. necessarily, right. I have a few bottles of bourbon, but I, that's not, you know, my poison of choice. But uh, yeah, I, I hope that this year things, I don't think it's going to, but I really wish if I had a Christmas wish, <laughs> that's what I'd say, I guess. Or like that, that's quite my wish too. Like, I, I always wish health and prosperity to everyone that are listening to us right now. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> whiskey prices can be better. It, it's been a, it, it, it's been a cry for us for the last year because you know, everything. And I, I'll be honest to say that we didn't rise any prices with Paul John in the US. Oh, it's the same price, wow. it's the same thing for the last uh, three years. And I, I, like we we have been sucking it in. <laughs> I'm saying that. Samik says that I'm in love with Paul John Nirvana. Amanda, uh, any no. thoughts on Nirvana? No. I don't think Amanda tried Nirvana yet. Okay, I will. I will, I will send you a bottle of that. <laughs> Please try. Dram dude, Cody, like, nice to see you, brother. Uh, he joined la late, but yeah. Okay. And Amanda, let's come to West Coast, yeah. East Coast, let's meet right, somewhere. Do it. I, You're in Midwest, I mean, as far I'll be as at I know. The next Chicago with you, Beth, so yeah. hopefully I will see you there. Yeah, May. I know, it's so far away. <laughs> That's May. <laughs> I'll, I, I'll be okay. there. But let's get you to West Coast first. Maybe we can yeah, do Yeah, thank you so together. much for having me. But I really thank do you for joining it. us. Um, I was really <coughs> nervous to come on here. This is my first live. So, uh, yeah, I was <coughs> so nervous that I switched the name around. Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I know it's Paul John. <laughs> it's okay. We literally don't worry about that. We literally worry about how you taste the whiskey. Did you enjoy it or not? That's it. That's what we care about. And, Christmas edition is a different thing. It's just, yeah. it, it just comes once in a year. And we're almost at the end of the year, that being said. And not everyone is going to get a bottle of that. It's just because everybody needs to survive bottles. the holidays. I mean, that's just my personal opinion to survive that Christmas day with all of your extended family. <laughs> this is a must. <laughs> And I, I literally had a text message right now saying that you didn't mention the price, and the price uh, for Christmas for edition for should be around right? eighty-five dollars. <laughs> SRP. Just, 
just, just saying it should be around that, but you know, USA is a big country. So I cannot promise the price to be same everywhere, but yeah, it should be around 85. And got a try, Paul John. Maybe if it can be found here in Nashville, I will, I will tell it to the uh, people that are in charge. Thank and you yeah. for having me. This is my second so, class. I hope everyone Thank you very much, Amanda. For the second class. <laughs> Honestly, thank you so Lovely. much. For let, let me pour Congratulations myself. Congratulations on your uh, distilling certificate that you got. No. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. It, it is crazy. Like yeah. when you oh, start this job, you because you cannot stop learning. learning. That's one of the things. Yeah, and from day one, that has been my thing. And IBD is one of the most well-known institutes in the world. So it's the Institute of Brewing and Distilling that's uh, based in Scotland. So I got the education from them. It was a tough one. And I I, I can say that <laughs> I'm not the guy who works every day. I'm the last minute guy. So I worked on the planes. <coughs> it was pretty good. I'll say that I learned a lot, especially how a factory works. Factory meaning distillery because distilleries are factories. If you go to Paul John, you will see that that's a factory. Yeah. If you go to Balwini or Glenfiddich, you will see that it's a factory. So that's something that I've saw, I've seen uh, during my studies, and I think that anybody in this uh, industry should. Well, get let me ask you this: What so, it was did lovely. you celebrate? I had my joy when you got your certificate. What whiskey? So I haven't because I got my certificate yesterday and I was flying. Oh, but congratulations. I am turning 37 in two days. On uh, two... Yep, 14. I'm sorry. What, what day is it? <laughs> 14th in four days. So in four days, I'll, I'll be turning 37. Mm. And my birthday with nice. me is going to be that, a link for 37. That's wonderful. But obviously, yes, absolutely. But we know what my too, Christmas is. Uh, if it survives me <laughs> drinking it until the holiday. <laughs> From what I see, you're going good. <laughs> thank you for having me. You're, you're doing very good. So thank you for joining us. Um, we love having you here. We love to have friends as a friend of Paul John, what we call our circle, because we have the friends of Paul John on Facebook. Please join our circle and we'll be updating you with the new Paul John products coming on. And we have a lot of in the mm -hmm. line coming for you guys. And thanks for joining us, Amanda. Thanks for sharing your moments Thank with you. us. Wonderful <laughs> room, wonderful personality. Thank you. Cheers.